Unit 7. Television. Activity 1. Listen and complete. 1. This is a romantic song. 2. English is one of our favourite subjects. 3. The aim of the series is to both entertain and to inform. 4. Hannah Montana is an interesting film. 5. Watching television can be very harmful. Activity 2. Listen and write true or false for each statement. 1. Anna's hobby is watching football. 2. Her favorite type of movie is Walt Disney cartoons. 3. She watches TV after dinner. 4. She thinks cartoon characters are often clumsy. 5. She spends one hour watching TV each day. Activity 3. Listen and circle the word you hear. 1. A. Director. 2. C. National. 3. D. Documentary. 4. A. Newsreader. 5. A. Reporter. Activity 4. Listen to the answers and put them in the correct order. A. Hollywood is in Los Angeles, California. B. The cartoon is on at 8 p.m. C. I watch football matches once a week. D. The film is often on Channel 6. E. My favorite TV channel is VTV. Unit 8. Sports and Games. Activity 1. Listen to Anna talking about how often she plays the following game and tick the correct columns. Hi, my name is Anna. I love sports a lot. The two sports that I like most are jogging and badminton. I always do them. Besides, swimming and morning exercise are usually what I do. I love them too. Even though football is the king sport, I never play it because it needs a team to do that. I rarely have time to be with my friends to play football. Activity 2. Listen and decide if the statements are true or false. Sumo is the national sport of Japan. It is very popular there, but its popularity is decreasing. This is because the top champions are no longer Japanese ones. There have been more champions from Hawaii and Mongolia in the past decade than from Japan. Sumo is misunderstood around the world. Many people do not know it's a martial art. People also say the guys who battle against each other are wrestlers. They're not. They're called rikishi. And a lot of people think sumo is just about two fat men pushing each other. It's not. Sumo is incredibly exciting and skillful. I myself love everything about sumo. I love the ceremonies before the fights begin. I love the traditions, the history, and the costumes. Activity 3. Listen and choose the correct answers. Did you go to the basketball game on Friday? No, I couldn't make it. I had an art class, actually. You missed a really good game. What a pity. Oh, really? Who won? Our school did. Both teams played well. It's lucky that our team beat the York team. Oh, I really wanted to go. Yeah, it was really exciting. So, um, what was the score? The score was 101 to 98. Wow, that was a really close game. That's what made it so great. I'm sure I'll make it to the next one. Activity 4. Listen and complete. Sports and games play an important part in our lives. Every one of us can play a sport, a game, or watch sports events on TV or at the stadium. When you listen to the radio in the morning, you can always hear the sports news. When you open a newspaper, 
you can always find information about some football matches. Television programs about sports are very popular, and you can watch something interesting nearly every day. Unit nine: Cities in the world. Activity one: Listen and tick five cities that Nick visited. My family and I had quite a long vacation last year. The first destination we went to was Vietnam. I love the beach, so I chose Nha Trang to be my first stop. Then we enjoyed a lot of delicious food in Hanoi, the capital of Vietnam. After that, I flew to England to visit Cambridge and London, which are very historic and lovely cities. The last city that we arrived in was Paris, the center of romance and fashion. I miss my vacation. Activity two: Listen and match the city with the activity that Sarah did when she was there. Two months ago, I visited Vietnam and I stayed in five cities. When I arrived in Hanoi, I visited the biggest gallery there to see all the beautiful pictures, which reminded people of Bao Cap time. Then we moved to Nha Trang to enjoy delicious seafood after swimming in the clear blue sea. We left Nha Trang for Ho Chi Minh City after three days to go on a city tour. Ho Chi Minh City is much more modern than Hanoi. I cannot deny that Da Nang is a fantastic city, so we took a lot of photos at sunset. Finally, we ate traditional food in Hai Phong. Activity three: Listen and choose the correct answer. Hi, Jerry. The school year is almost over. Do you have any plans for the summer holiday? I'm planning to visit an Asian city, but I haven't decided yet. Oh, why don't you visit the Great Wall in Beijing? It's great. Actually, I've been there once. Well, I enjoyed the trip, but it was so crowded there. What about Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam? Last year I visited it. It's fantastic. But the weather is hot, isn't it? Not really. The weather is comfortable. Well, that sounds good. Still, I wonder, is there anything worth seeing in Ho Chi Minh City? Sure. For one thing, there are museums and monuments documenting Vietnam's long history. There is also Ben Thang Market with many local handicrafts, textiles, and I bought a lot. And they are really beautiful. If possible, you can travel to nearby provinces. There is beautiful natural scenery. Activity four: Listen to the passage and fill in each blank with one word. My name is Sarah. I have lived in Hanoi for two years. It is very crowded with a lot of vehicles traveling high and low every day. My house is small but modern with useful appliances such as a washing machine, a fridge, a smart TV, and two laptops. My favorite appliance is the high-tech robot, which can help me do the housework. I named the robot Tom. Tom does several chores for me, like cleaning my room, making coffee, and playing the music I like. I feel so comfortable living in my house. Unit ten: Our houses in the future. Activity one: Listen to Ha, Nam, Hai, Bing, and Fong talking about where their future houses will be located. Match each person with one location. Even though we five friends are very close friends, we have different choices of where our houses will be. Ha loves the busy life, so she wants her future house to be in the city. Nam, in contrast, is a reserved one. He wants his house to be in the countryside. Hai is quite adventurous. He wants to be on the moon. Fong loves space, so his future house will be in space. And I am Bing. I love to live higher than any other people, so my house must be in the mountains. Activity two: Listen to Fong describing his house and complete. One: Fong's house will be in the country. Two. His house will be surrounded by tall trees. Three. There will be twenty rooms in his house.
Four, the house might have a smart TV. Five, there will also be a high-tech robot. Activity three. Listen and put the pictures of types of houses in the order you hear. If I become a millionaire in the future, I will own five different types of houses. I love to be in a luxurious house, so I must have a skyscraper and a castle to enjoy my life. In addition, traveling is also what I like. Therefore, I will buy a houseboat and a motor house to live in and travel to wherever I want. A UFO is my last choice. I would like to be in the world of aliens once in my life. Activity four. Listen and write one appliance in the correct room that V wants. V wants her house to be so comfortable and modern. That's why she puts in each room a special high-tech appliance to help her do the daily chores. In the living room, she has a smart TV. She just speaks out what channel she wants to watch, and the smart TV will choose the right channel for her. She has a king-size bed in her bedroom, so that she can relax after a hard-working day. In the kitchen, she wants an automatic cooker, which can cook whatever dish she orders. She owns a modern shower in the bathroom, which can automatically wash her hair, and a robot in the dining room. Is the final thing she needs to help her set up the table at meal times. Unit Eleven: Our Greener World. Listen and put the following things, which Nick uses to recycle, in the order you hear. I always try my best to recycle whenever I can. The first thing I recycle is a light bulb. I use it to make a mini flower vase to decorate my house. Next, I like to recycle cans. They can be made into toy cars and pencil cases. I like to see how a toy car made from can works. The third thing is bottles. You can never imagine how useful the empty bottles are. We can make them vases. Grow plants there and several other things as well. For glasses, I often send them to recycling factories. And finally, I never throw old clothes away. I clean them and give them to homeless people. I feel very happy doing those things. Activity two: Listen and complete. One: If the Earth is warmer, the sea level will rise. Two. If the sea level rises, some countries will be flooded. Three. If we reduce pollution, we will not have enough food to eat. Four. If we don't have enough food to eat, we will be hungry. Five. And finally, you will be dead. Activity three. Listen to Peter talking about how green he is. And choose the correct answer. One, I have done a survey on how green I am, and I found out I am not really green. I am quite green only because if I find a beautiful old glass, I will not throw it away. Two, if I have a sheet of paper, I will always write on both sides. Three, if I finish a can of cola, I will throw it in the nearest bin. Four, if I have a lot of old clothes, I will sometimes give them to those in need. Five, if I am invited to a birthday party one kilometer away from my house, I will cycle there. Activity four, listen and write true or false for the following statements. One, V thinks they can use the club fund to buy light bulbs for classes. Two. At book fairs, students can't swap their new books. Three. Nam thinks that it will be good if students go to school by bus. Four. Students can grow trees in the school garden. Five. Used uniforms can be exchanged at uniform fairs.
Unit 12. Robots. Activity 1. Listen and write true or false for each statement. In the past, robots played minor roles. They could only do very simple things. In the future, robots will play very important roles. They will be able to do many things, like humans. By the end of this century, we will have to explore the moon to find important minerals. It is dangerous for people, so we will use robots instead of humans. It won't be very expensive because robots won't need money, food, air or water. They will only use solar energy. Robots will get minerals from the moon and they will bring them back to the earth. Activity 2. Listen and put a tick on the thing that robot Ungaku could do and a cross on the thing that he can't do. I just went to the robots fair in Da Nang last week. It was a great show. The robot, whose name was Ungaku, could do a lot of things such as lifting heavy things, recognizing human faces, and guarding the house. However, I hope that in the future he can also make coffee and understand what humans say. Activity 3. Listen to V and Nick talking about their robots and complete. The robot I have can understand some words I say. It can comb my hair and help me get dressed. However, it can't clean my house because it cannot bend over. My first robot was an alarm clock. It could wake me up every morning. I could say, wake up, and it could push me out of the bed. Activity 4. Listen and put the picture in the correct order of what a robot can do. My robot can do a lot of things. He can make a cup of coffee in the morning. Besides, he can lift heavy things. Additionally, he can do some household chores, such as cutting grass and washing dishes. Finally, he can step upstairs and downstairs. Activity 5. Listen and give short answers to the following questions. My name is V and my brother is Fung. My family is going to watch a robot show tonight in Ho Chi Minh City as both my father and younger brother have a big passion with home robots. I am not the same. I am interested in seeing teaching robots as I love to become a teacher in the future. Other kinds of robots that I know include sports robots and singing.